Hello, I'm Aaron Nice. I'm the current City of Review cable producer. I'm with Ron Miller. He owns uh, Riverview Towing. Riverview Towing, located at 13396 Sibley Road. Riverview, Michigan. Riverview, Michigan. Right you are. So, Ron, uh, why did you get into the towing business? Uh, sheer foolishness is all I can tell you. <laughs> I worked for AAA uh, in, the, in the mid to late 70s, and my buddy had a body shop over on Riverview Street. It's called Master Auto Body, which is now gone. But I started out there in 79, and I uh, bought this place in uh, July of 1982. It was a Union 76 gas station, and I just uh, rolled on from there. All right. Uh, what do you like about your business? Yeah. Well, that would be a very short, a short list. <laughs> I say that just. I've made eleven. I've made. Uh, I've raised up three kids. Uh, my wife and I are both from Riverview. I've lived my whole life proudly in this town, and uh, yeah, it's. It, I've had. Uh, it, it's a nice job. Get to come to work every day. There's some headaches involved, but anybody could say that about what they do. So, so did you that's pretty fortunate. Yeah. Total Riverview boy all the way. Never lived anyplace else. All right. So are you, I take it you're a family-owned business then, just you? Started it out myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. Uh, any complications along the way? Tons of them. <laughs> Tons of them. I'll, my head's maybe, starting maybe to look maybe. like yours there, Aaron, yeah. from all the troubles hey. I had, but. I've got uh, four employees all together, including myself. Uh, two of us are from Riverview. Well, two of us live in Riverview. My brother-in-law has been with me about 25 years. He's a Riverview boy. Grew up right down the street from me, so he's married to my little sister. And then, like I said, that's just uh, that's how it is. Hey, well, I'm glad you're here. You guys seem to be doing well. I mean, mm -hmm. taking. I know the city hires you every now and then. But yep, we've been doing a police towing for 30 something years. I'm. I'm thinking 32 or 33, I can't remember, but it's been a long time. So after you worked in the little uh, body shop down the street, you thought this was a good opportunity? Oh, yeah. And you're like, I'm going to start my own business. I started out at Fort and Sibley uh, Shell, where the Speedway gas station is. I worked there first, went to work for AAA driving a tow truck. I hauled ice at Born Brothers Ice when I was in high school. I've had a few different jobs. Never delivered pizzas, though, but... Uh, <laughs> are, are his Born Brothers gone? Or, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. that's all long gone. It's amazing how businesses come and fade. Yeah. I mean, my city is pretty much vacant. Yeah. Luckily, Tone has been a pretty active deal over the years. Everybody breaks down every now and then, so when we repair cars, so uh, it's worked out pretty good. I've definitely broke down a few times in my life. Mm -hmm. so. uh, you ever had, have any doubts about your business? Or were you confident the whole time? Like, I'm, uh, I'm doing not, this. No, no, no. I've had, uh, I had a lot of people tell me when I first started out I'd never do it. And uh, that's probably why I'm sitting here. I can be a very, that's very hard-headed individual. So you tell me I can't do something, that's just a little poker that I need to get me going. I'm glad. Uh, did you ever think you need to seek advice or ask anyone for help along the way? I've got a Ph.D., Aaron, in the School of Hard Knocks. Ph.D.? Yeah, it's up in my office there. Yeah, yeah, I've learned a lot. Every, I'm a Riverview right. High School graduate, I'm proud to say, but uh, other, fire, than, right? other than that, exactly, other than that, I've never had any college courses, but I've learned a lot of things the hard way in the last, uh, what would it be, we got 36 years, I think, this year, so, sure. Yeah, it's a long time. It's a... Uh... Proud accomplishment. Time. Long long time. I am. I'm very proud of what we've been able to do. So I know you mentioned uh, you started over there, but this is your only location you've ever had. No, well, I started out at 18200 Riverview Street at Master Auto Body in '79, okay. and then, like I said, but I this bought is, this. This yeah. is the first place I bought. I never uh, short of renting a little office from uh, short of renting an office from uh, Master Auto Body. I'd never been any place else. Uh, we might need to take a time out here. What's up?
So okay. you mentioned that uh, you started your business in review. Is there any particular reason why you started here? Or just you know, just come on now. Place. Listen, when I, I first, know, when okay. I first when I first started I out, some of the some of uh, my friends and I. We, a few people tried to give me advice to maybe try a different name, whatever, but uh, I've always been uh, very uh, proud of the city of Riverview. I really, truly, I have been. That's why I named my business Riverview Tone. It was a no brainer. I was going to be in business right here, and uh, I just saw it worked out good that way. I, I have to ask, you know, sure. you never know. You could have went to Trenton. I mean, no. or Riverview or no. Southgate or yeah, no. you could have went anywhere. Riverview through and through, I, I really found I really a real location. Yep, no, not for me though. Hey, I I'm proud of my city, so. Sure. Uh, so, you said you've been operating 36 years? 36 years. 36 years, that's a long time. That's all, I think, a about long, my long age. Time. Yeah. Uh, I think I've lost my hair that long, too, <laughs> about 38 years. Uh, let's see, are you interested in staying? Oh, I'll Obviously. be I'll be here till I kick off, I think. That's my retirement. People <laughs> say, when are you going to retire and do this or that, but I think I'll be working here are you, are you, as long as I'm able to. Are you ever going to open another store or somewhere no. else? No. Just one I, had a, I had a location at, uh, on Eureka Road probably 25 years ago. We had a six-bay repair shop down there, but it just spread myself too thin. I just couldn't do it. Yeah, I So understand. I just came back to the original location. Plus, it's hard to find... Uh, Good. Yeah, don't get don't right. get me going there, Aaron. <laughs> no problem, no problem. Uh, if you had some competitors knock on your door, would you tell them anything? Like another towing truck industry, like? No, I'm, uh, what, what, would you look in the competition or? Oh, the, uh, there's room for everybody. There's mm -hmm. always yeah. There's there's plenty of business for everybody. You treat pe people fair and square, they'll come back and see you. I don't do a whole lot of advertising, Aaron. There's a lot of places around here don't. When you're pretty well established, you don't have to worry about that. I mean, so. some people know you not know you're here. You've been here 36 years, and it's ironic. We, How many people in your community don't know a business yeah, exists? We, we keep we keep busy as it is. And if you had a competitor, a lot of times people tend to congregate or shop in competitiveness. Sure. Well, know? Porter Stone is right around the corner. Well, so there you go. Roy Porter's a great guy. We work hand in hand. I, I try to get along with my competition, and we do pretty much everybody downriver is. It, it gives people options, but it also. But sometimes know. we got to work together on a bad, right. cr fatal crash or whatever. I've had help from all sorts of towing outfit, Norman Eddies, Grow Brothers, Lions, Porters. I mean, we've all worked hand in hand. So, do you think you would recommend any other business to come to review? Oh, absolutely. Been a great community. I mean, like it. I'm here. Bruce and the uh, Boyden. It's, it's ranked pretty high up there in the national charts for living and. Wages. I would well. I, like I said, it's the only place I've ever lived. Never lived a day outside. Never. Never lived a day outside of the city of Riverview. Well, you, you said you had a shop in uh, New York. You, know, you could live there with a. Did never. Yeah, I moved from Colster Street right across the street. I've never lived. Never lived in an apartment out of town or whatever. I just went right around the corner from where I was raised. So, Ron, do you think uh, you have any particular reasons that you draw clients in? Uh, well, I got steady clientele. Like I said, you after hey, you've been around for a while. I mean, there's. Uh, it's just the way business well, works. Why don't you, you do business with the police? So they're obviously it's sure. Right? Oh, absolutely. Been with AAA for since I started out in '79. We fall for them. So yeah, I've got a lot of people that have been with me for a, a long, long time. Very fortunate. Uh, do you have a website that people can go to? Uh, I do. Uh, it's funny you would say that. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I better check with my computer man about That's that. That's fine. I'll, I'll look it up and put it right here at the bottom. There so you go. Thank you. You can look at it and check you out. I call myself a dinosaur, Aaron. I'm not a. I'm not a text guy. I don't have what I what they call a smarty pants phone. I'm a flip phone man, and I'm proud oh, of it. I know. Yeah. So I'm kind of old school. That's the way I am. My mom doesn't even have a cell phone. Yeah. She, she's, Good for her. She still dials the pickup phone with a Good. wall dial ringer. Good for her. I like your mother. I'm sure. Oh, <laughs> uh, everyone loves my mother. She works at a bank, so you can see her anytime. There you go. Uh, if someone would call you and say, why should I do business with Ruby Towing? What do you think would you tell them? Um, I think we're pretty fairly priced. Uh, there's all sorts of competition. Listen, if you wanted uh, sometimes people call me and they say, how much to do this? And I give them a price and they say, well, a guy down the street will do it for $5 cheaper. I say, you know what, go down to the guy down the street. Like I said, I'm not... We're here 10 hours a day, <laughs> we come in and work on cars and we go home, and uh, yeah, there's a business for everybody, but you can't be chasing your tail. There's always somebody wants to do something for cheap, but sometimes the old rule applies, you get what you pay for, so. Yeah, that's true, and uh, 
I know like certain businesses like a city for instance we have to um, put out I can't remember the word right now but we have to put out a bid let people bid on sure. a job so sure. everyone gets a chance the city's been burned a few times I'm uh, sure yeah. they had to go to the second best once or twice like I said the proof's in the pudding so to speak uh, it's just the way it is uh, you think there's anything that the city of Riverview can do to help your business? Besides lowering my taxes and letting me increase my tow rates, I would say. Uh, <laughs> all right, well, you never know. No, there's all in all, I'm, uh, listen, I've never, any, I've, I've never had any. You got a lot of I've never had any trouble. Uh, they could do a you park got, or something? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, I, as far as the community as a whole, we need to get, is that what you're asking me? Uh, anything? We anything. need to get more people involved in different things. Really, the community is like anything. It's what you make of it. and. Uh, I mean, I mean everybody's busy trying to hustle and make a living and you don't have time to do this and do that but uh, we have little planning commissions that decorate the center absolutely the they do a great job there's a lot of a lot of volunteers in this town to put their heart and soul in it I just wish there were a few more people that uh, felt that way so I got I guess we got one more do you think you want to tell anyone else that may not have asked question or anything? no I'm, I'm flummoxed I can't think of anything <laughs> Uh, no pirates, maybe? Uh, oh, absolutely. No pirates. Aaron, what color is my shirt I'm wearing? Maroon and gold. I bleed I'm almost it. wearing. No, not really. Almost. Either. Almost. Yeah. If you blend them together, it might make money. <laughs> All right. Well, Ron, thanks for your time. Thank you, Aaron. Appreciate it. I will. And we'll put this on cable. Show some people what you're about. Go Riverview. All right.